Hey guys, welcome to another workout session with Madame Blunt. Today we're having our express abs. For this workout, you need just your mat. So I hope you have it set up already. Okay. So we have 12 exercises today. We're doing just one round and each exercise goes for 40 seconds. We are starting with the dead bug. You don't need any warm up for this exercise. I will show you the dead bug and then you come with me. So let's do that. Let's set up. Now for this dead bug, it's an opposite of the bird dog exercise you need to make sure your entire back is in contact with the floor then when you are extending your right hand you are extending the left leg also make sure the arm does not touch the ground and your leg doesn't touch the ground so they are just parallel to the floor then you return and then you alternate okay we we'll start in five four three two one Make sure your core is braced in. After this, we are doing the glute bridges. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Glute bridge in five, four, three, two, one. Do not slam your waist or your hips to the ground when you're coming down, okay? And when you're lifting up the ground, start from your tailbone to your lower back and then to the upper back. When you're returning to the ground, the opposite, okay? Start from your upper back, your lower back, and then your tailbone make sure that when you go up you are squeezing your glutes tight and then lift from your hips do not lift from your legs okay make sure you're lifting from your hips next exercise is the one leg plank i will show you the form before we start we stop in five four three two one this is what we're going to do we're going to start from the table top position you're going to slide your right leg out, making sure your foot is flexed, the right foot is flexed, okay? Slide it out like you want to go into plank, hold it for 10 seconds, then you're going to return it and slide out the left foot, making sure it is flexed, okay? Just like I'm doing right now, I'll do that again. I'm going to slide my right foot out, flexed, hold, bring it back, then slide the left. I will tell you when to change. We start in five, four three two one when you're in your table top position make sure your spine is in the neutral position do not arch or hunch okay and when you're sliding your feet out let's change foot when you're sliding the feet out make sure make sure your stomach is engaged the core is engaged okay very important let's switch For the last time let's switch our next workout is a full plank we stop in five four three two one good let's set it up we start in five four three two go you already know how to do this full plank you are a champ in this one now we've been doing full plank all our lives right just make sure your wrists and your shoulders are in line okay your hips are not off don't take don't take your tailbone to the ceiling make sure it's all tucked in okay and most especially engage the core after this we are doing the toe taps we stop in five four three two one let's flip over for the toe taps so you're going to just tap your alternating toe it's an alternating tap i mean so tap the right toe with your left hand and then tap the left toe with your right hand we start in five four three two one begin again brace in your core
don't hold in your breath remember to breathe in and out okay our next exercise is the bird dog we stop in five four three two and one now this is really important when you are switching hands and legs make sure your hips are in place do not swing your hips when you are switching your leg or your arms okay it's really important so take the strength from your core make sure your core is engaged you're taking strength from there when you want to switch just transfer the weight to the opposite shoulder before switching your arm and legs okay like i'm doing right now do not swing your hips okay i need you to feel this exercise in your core because today is core workout we start in five four three two one begin do not arch or hunch your back your back should be in a neutral form right now Next, we are going for supine wood chops. We are almost done. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Let's flip over. Even the flipping is a workout on its own, so flip with me. Now, for the supine wood chop, it's just like the line form of our normal wood chop our standing wood chop okay you're bringing you're clasping your fingers and chopping woods right in front of you just bring your hands down in front of you towards your legs make sure your core is engaged as usual we start in five four three two one begin your shoulders should be relaxed do not tighten the shoulders when you're doing this workout okay Next, we have the plank to bear crawl. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. I hope you're not expecting rest for this workout. It's an express abs. We don't rest in express, do we? <laughs> okay, rest while I explain this part for you. We're going to switch from plank to hover, and I'm going to come from hover back to plank. Okay, at no point in this exercise should your knees touch the ground. Make sure your arms are supporting your weights very well, and your arms and your wrists and shoulders should be stacked neatly. Okay, of course, your core should be engaged. We start in five, four, three, two, one, begin. We are almost done just hanging there our next workout is the bent leg raise we we'll stop in five four three two one great now let's flip over again for your bent leg raise you know how to do this you see what i'm doing we we'll start in five four three two one begin your back your entire back should be in contact with the ground your legs shouldn't touch the ground just extend them out and then bring them towards you, your knees towards your chest okay you're doing great after this we're going to flip to our right side for oblique crunch this is like a resting workout for you so don't worry okay you're going to rest when we're doing this oblique crunch not when I'm doing it, so when we are doing it, we'll be resting. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's turn to our right. You see what I'm doing? You ready to do it? Just like our standing of the crunch. We start in five, four, three, 
two, one. Your elbow to your knee. That's basically what you're doing. Make sure your stomach is engaged and make sure you're not holding your breath. You are doing so great. Next on our list is the modified hollow hood. We stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's set it up. You ready? Let's begin. At any point when you're tired, just bring your knee to your chest, stretch your back out, and then go back to your pose. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now let's repeat the oblique crunch on the other side. In five, four, three, two, one, begin. Again, bracing your core and try to tap your elbow to your knee. You all know this is our last exercise for today, right? We are going straight to our stretches now. We stop in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. You see why it's called an express abs? Okay, I'm going to start with stretching our abs. Get ready, we're doing each stretch for 20 seconds. We start in 5, 4, 3, 2, begin. So this is the upward dog pose. You should be feeling this on your abs. Next, we're going to go to our side stretch. Stop in five, four, three, two, one. All right, let's sit down. Cross your legs together in front of you in an easy pose. If you can't cross your legs, just stretch them out, okay? This is a stretch. It is not supposed to pain you. You are supposed to feel the stretch, okay? All right, we're going to extend our right arm up and above our head towards the left. And then just bend gently until you're feeling the stretch on your right side body. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, start. Relax your shoulders and do not hold your breath. Get ready to switch to the other side. And switch. We stop in five, four, three, two, one. Now I need you to roll back onto your back, lying down. You're going to pull your legs towards you, your knees actually towards your chest. Relax your shoulders, make sure all your back is in contact with the floor and hold this pose for 20 seconds. Great. Now you're going to extend your legs out, extend your arms out, and just relax in a corpse pose for 20 seconds. You can go as long as you want, but this is the end of our workout, okay? If you want to stay in this pose for one minute, one hour, be my guest. Have fun. So thank you guys for joining me for today's workout. Do not forget to leave your comments. And if you are not yet a subscriber, please, I am begging you, subscribe before you leave this channel. See you guys again very, very soon. Till then, stay safe. Your workout is complete in 5, 4, 3, 
two.